I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm super excited to share a fun project with you today using the 123 punch board. Now, this is the Cadillac of all punch boards. You can make so many things with this. You can make envelopes, boxes, you can make cards, you can make bows. It's really amazing. So what we're gonna make today are these mini favor boxes, okay? And these are perfect for any occasion, for parties, for showers, for anything you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the punch board and we're gonna look here at the instructions for boxes, okay? And what I love about this punch board is everything's color-coded. So if you're making envelopes, you know, you look for blue. For boxes, we just look at the pink markings and that's what we follow. Really easy. So we're gonna make the smallest box size, which is one and three quarter inches square. And it tells me here that I need a six inch piece of paper. And it tells me where my start line is, which is on the small size here on the board, okay? So I'm gonna just make things really easy and use a six by six paper pad from the Love Notes collection. And what I love about this collection is it is for Valentine's Day or love themed, but if you look at the back of all of these, there's a nice generic print. So we're gonna pick out some of those nice pastel generic prints for this project. So I'm gonna start out by lining up my paper on the S on the board. And I'm gonna punch. And normally I would score the A line right here and the B line over here, and then I would do the C line here, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna rotate. Line it up on the S, punch, and score. A and B. Okay, same thing. We're just gonna repeat that on all four sides. Easy as can be. Okay, once we've done that, we're just gonna flip this paper over and we're gonna line it up on the S line, the start line again, and just punch four more uh, curves into the paper on each side. All right, now I like the softness of the rounded corners, so this handy punch board has a corner rounder here. It's also got a, a slit cutter right there, but we're just gonna use the corner rounder today. And do all four corners. Okay, and now what we wanna do is punch holes in each of these flaps because instead of notching the box and, and um, closing it that way, we're gonna actually tie it with some pretty ribbon. So what you can do if you did buy the banner punch board along with the um, 123 punch board is you can use the whole punch at the end of this. But I've got my crop dial here today. So I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna use the large hole punch, line it up with my handy little viewer there and just punch on all four of these flaps. And it really doesn't matter if they're perfectly lined up because the ribbon's gonna kinda cover that up for you. So we're just gonna eyeball this. Okay, now we're gonna take some scissors and we're gonna just pick one of these flaps and we're gonna cut right down that score line until it meets up with the next one. Okay, and we'll do the next side right there. And we're going to rotate around to the opposite flap and do the same thing. Okay, so next what you're going to do is assemble this box. So I'm going to kind of fold these a little bit so it's easier to work with. I'm going to take some double-sided tape and just place that on these flaps that I created right here, kind of along the edges, the outside. Okay, and then all I need to do is just fold this up and stick those together, lining up these edges here. Okay, so I would repeat that all the way around the box, um, but this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. Okay, just a cute little box. And then next we're gonna add the ribbon, and you're gonna start with whatever flap you'd like and go from the outside in. Okay, you're gonna pull it about halfway, okay? Next, we're gonna move on to the flap that is just to the left, and we're gonna go again from the outside in. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the opposite flap, come around this way, 
And again, from the outside in, Okay, and for the last flap, we're actually going to go from the inside out this time. Okay, now as you start to pull this, it's going to pull the flaps in, of course. Let me tighten that up. Let me get this pulled through there just a bit. Okay. All right, now what I like to do when I'm tying ribbon into a bow is I like to have one of the sides slightly larger, longer than the other, and that's the side that you're going to wrap around your first loop, okay? So here's the first loop. I'm using the longer side to wrap around, and then I'm just going to pull that tight, okay? All right, whoops. Okay. There we go. Now you're going to take your scissors and just trim the ends so they're even and give them a little angle. Then I like to add a little sentiment on the outside, a little something, maybe a tag, but I've got a little sticker today that just simply says thanks. So these are great little favor boxes for any party, for any shower, for teachers, coworkers, any occasion. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.